Hurt looking to be more aggressive today. Knocks down his first shot. He's so good at getting very good his first two years in school. He, he hasn't shot the ball well here. That won't stop him from shooting, though. <laughs> <laughs> shoot or shoot. <laughs> Looks like a different player from yesterday until today. Off air, I just don't think they have enough playmakers to be able to create their own shot uh, and be able to get in the lane, draw a couple, and then be able to make that next pass. They've struggled with that. Although the ball movement from one side of the floor to the other. I, from just being the player I am, a lot of people coming from Africa don't have the skills that I have or being guards. Most of them are big men and staff. So just me being out there, I feel like it would do. <laughs> Hurt one dribble, pull up jumper, looking smooth. You can really stretch the yeah. floor. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get some help to get it in. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Herb Jones from Alabama. Appreciate you spending some time with us. Good luck up until the draft. Yep. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot of good scores in the league, but those are just my main guys who I watch all the time. So we're gonna we're gonna break down your game here, and we're gonna look at you know some of those strengths that we saw at Sierra Canyon. Have a, a ton of talent, and uh, I think as he gets physically stronger and learns the game more, he's he's got all the tools to be a an outstanding player. But he is probably four. All smiles for our Moodcast. We have warm sunshine all throughout our area. Where exactly will these cannabis retail establishments be allowed? This bus allows six people at a time to come in and get vaccinated. The first of a small ball, I could see him playing one through five, and I've been watching some tape on him working on his three-point shot, and uh, I love the reps. He's starting to get more comfortable from three, and so I'm really excited. And a little bit too, so yeah, those are a couple guys for sure. So why should NBA teams bet on Jared Butler? I'm a winner. Um, I've proved it the past three years. Um, highly reliable. There's never going to be a time in the game where Jared Butler can't be on the floor. Even yeah. on those hard hedges, I've been really impressed with his footwork on both ends of the floor as well. Yeah, there's no question that he's uh, he's going to be moving up. Mm -hmm. Not not being seen this last year. And it's down to Wendell Moore Jr. Jay, as you well know, this is the third meeting of the season between these two. Louisville has won each of the last two. The last one going into overtime. Second round matchup. And yes, the Blue Devils just hoping to keep things going one day at a time. They're already, Jay, kind of in survive and advance mode here in the ACC tournament. Yeah, they have to bench for Duke. Henry Coleman the third is in for the Blue Devils, the freshman from Richmond, Virginia. And there's a great example of Hurt keeping that ball way up high above his head. That was almost a... Right now a little bit of a different lineup. Henry Coleman into the ball game. This isolation on the elbow for Hurt. And not a whole lot you can do about that. He just gives you a little jam of success making shots on the offensive end. They're playing hard, but I haven't seen the ball go in the bucket. Hurt, five inches taller than Johnson, over him and a foul. What are you going to do? I mean, they get to the rim. They got to the rim early, but Duke has been really covering things up. Nice follow by Williams. When Withers came over to try to block, Davis didn't look at the weak side. He was just passing to the offense, and Jordan Goldwire was there just reading the eyes of the passer as if he were a, a defensive back. Williams headed to the free throw line. Had Coleman on him, and rather than drive it all the way to the rim, just pulled up. Just a beautiful jump shot. Yeah, and Chris Mack told us during our Zoom call with him today, he said, you know, for Williamson, it's kind of about, you know, knowing where your strength Cardinals. Yeah, There's a lot of contact on that drive. And when you need a bucket, Duke goes to Matthew Hurt. Johnson, he's a little bit frustrated. That's not something he misses very often. Yeah, to get to get all the way to the rim, and and Louisville had that happen several times in the in the first half early on in the game. Just opportunities around the rim, and to get it going, get back to being themselves. But you know, it's one thing for that to happen in the regular season. You don't get a second opportunity in the postseason. You have to be ready here with a blockout because Mark Gretsch. And it kind of feels like Louisville's best and maybe only opportunity is Carly Jones just kind of willing them to a victory tonight. He's been in takeover mode the last couple of times down the court. They're one and two since he became the interim head coach. 
Hurt with a touch. Yeah. Really turned the season around for Wendell Moore Jr. It did. Still scuffling beyond a three-point line, only 29%. This guy does not scuffle typically, but he's missed a couple. Hurt at 40. They're not staying here. Felt like it was a safer environment to keep them um, in Durham, in the hotel where they've been staying throughout the season. So they're busing back and forth for each one of these games. Yeah, I, I think all players there. It was a gigantic outburst from him. Talk about enthusiastic. Here's Hurt again for three. Yes, well, let him keep shooting it. He's going to hit a lot of them. Absolutely. 421. Now Boston College going to the zone. But with the way Duke can shoot the basketball, especially that guy, you've got to identify. Oh, okay, DJ. D Just when you thought it couldn't get any better than crispy, juicy, and tender, we went and added spicy. Be able to step out and guard Matthew Hurt. Now all of a sudden you got to put a smaller guy, Leaky Black, on Hurt. And if you have to put Armando Baycott on him, that's a, a much more difficult matchup for North Carolina. Hurt the leading. Baycott has been so aggressive the last game, last couple of games. Aggressive there, but he had 18 points, 15 rebounds against Syracuse. Hurts three around and out. Rebound Walton and the heels are they're gonna have any chance of getting into the NCAA tournament. That's exactly right. And, and Duke continuing to double the low post. And that was a wide open shot for Matthew Hurt, not even close. But there he could pull it out and run something. Hurt for three. They have got to get him going. You would think to have any chance of winning the game. The leading shot, or you had a high low opportunity. Very balanced scoring so far for Carolina. Goldwire with a nice look. Extra pass more. And the three will go down for Matthew Hurt. His first points of the game Tuesday against the 15 seed. They would have to play on the first day of the ACC tournament. Unusual position for the Blue Devils. Good drive by Matthew Hurt. Getting a couple buckets. They dominated Syracuse on the glass, but weren't able to take advantage of it. Hurt with a clean look. Way short. Now, this has not been done a great job, and it, and it goes beyond Cade Cunningham. When you look at the seven teams in the Big 12 who are going to get into the tournament, don't you think all of them have sweet 16 capable talents? There's just no let up. There's a steal by Tape, who's just come in for Williams. That's yeah, a, a different way to construct a basketball team. M most teams are going more for threes, and that's that's why you turn it over. You are inviting. And if he goes, for sure, he'd get drafted. I mean, you can see the sure. size and the skill. But you could also foresee, Jay, if he came back, that he could turn into a monster next year. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, this team. But comes up short. Hurt just lost it. Or was that deflected by Brooks? I don't think Brooks. We're, we're not sitting down at the court. We're up a fair ween. Uh, the, the good teams and the and the really good teams is high-level consistency. And, and North Carolina's not been consistent at the highest level. Uh, they've had turnover issues, and, th and that's because their guards are young. Duke's got... R.J. Davis doing a nice job staying front defensively and switches off on Matthew Hurt. Solid job. Boy, Hurt follows up his own miss, tips it up and in. Seven. Now, this is not a bad offensive team. They score 74 points per game. They just spread it around, and they don't have one guy who really lights you up. But it's kind of crazy to think nobody on the team even scores 12 a game. Yeah. Well, that for Del Moore and Matthew Hurt, who we've seen. And then you have freshman Roach and Stewart, who really struggled against Louisville on Saturday, and Mark Williams, who you've already heard from. First rebound of the night. For it's like last March when we didn't have an NCAA tournament that I think, regardless of the field, we're going to be happy to see basketball in March. Pump fake, step back, buckets. Matthew Hurt, it's a three ball, and has a four-point lead just across the halfway point of the first half here at McCamish Pavilion. Oh, high-low, Matthew Hurt, good look inside. He was fouled underneath, and Matt well, Got a guy who's in position, sliding his feet, not using his arms. Is there such a thing as smallism? <laughs> Maybe. Let me tell you something. That was good resume to evaluate how they played over the course of the season. There's seven ACC losses that come by a total of 35 points, and in a number of those, they've had uh, the opportunity to win, really. Just the last four shots. 
When Duke has the lead and they haven't gotten anything out of Stewart or Roach behind taking two shots. Stewart's taking both of them and they both missed and they were combined. Bucket for Usher. Usher's got seven. 29-28 inside two minutes to go. Matthew Hurt with an easy layup right at the rim. Hurt, that was a really good step through. Moses Wright is called for the goal 10. That and points off of that turnover by Louisville. DJ Stewart, the freshman who's been playing so well, a little step back and a long one, and he's on target again. Matthew Hurt, the six. Chris Mack made a switch, decided to put David Johnson on him. Hurt then went 12 minutes without scoring, only scored four points the rest of the game. I thought that decision by Mack changed the game. He missed the first 15 games after foot surgery, a broken bone in his right foot. They get tremendous leadership out of him, and guess who's off to another great start? In Jalen Withers had a reputation as being able to knock down a face-up shot. We haven't seen it a lot because he's been on the interior with Mo no Malik Williams. Hurd had a foot on the... He got further. He, he settled into a post-up, and what a tough shot, falling back a little bit. Off the window, hurt again. So this is beginning. Global up by two. Hurt trying to operate again. On fire in the early going, and that one in and out. One and done on that occasion. I thought that Johnson hurt matchup changed the game in the second half. The first time these two teams met. Now right now they cannot slow Devils down 28 22 with about six minutes to go in a half. Burt got off to a great start. There's that step back at this time. Coach, I think uh, you and Fonz, Reese Davis, classing up the joint there. Her little fall away, sweetly done there, but he's been a little quiet the first half. They cannot keep him out of the paint, and I mean, that was just a straight line drive, a good jab step drive. Hurt will knock down two more. And you turn it into a turnover that leads to points on the other end. Hurt looking to operate, loves that shot. Williams with. Blue Devils trying to recover behind Hurt and leave him open like that. He can do it all night long. Ooh, the rebound will not be tipped in, and here come the Blue Devils again. Hurt thought about it. He's going to fire it up anyway. Can't connect. It's to go. Hurt with the touch, trying to get in. Tight banks it in and takes the hit. He'll be at the line looking for a three-point play. A big reason that the Blue Devils have turned things around four game winning streaks have been limiting those turnovers. Roach, a oh, tough rebound there by Hertz. Tremendous play to get inside. Defensive play with a block. So the Blue Devils looking to tie or take the lead. Hurt wants the shot. Long one coming. He's got it. Uh, I've seen that far too often if you're Duke tonight. Just a bad turnover. Leading to offense. But again, slicing in for two more. And his great night continues. Under five to go. Hurt again. Long range. And can't hit this one. Coming up on 340 to play. Hurt again. Rebound tip that won't drop mm. and tipped out eats him again. He's calling for the ball here. Williams feeds it to him and inside for two. Roll in to make it 76 to 71. Another giant shot by Jones tonight. Here's Hertz. Drops that one in with 25 seconds to go. In that short history. A really well played games where shots were made. That was what was so impressive about the Duke Virginia game was the shot making. Matthew heard a miss. There's Williams. 
And you talked about need for Duke, nearly five minutes gone by. No fans here tonight, but Duke blast that crowd noise as much as anybody. Matthew hurt the bucket. And just to continue on and let, let the folk you just said, that's not the only reason, but do you think it's part of the reason that they might be playing better? I mean, there may be a small aspect of that, but I, I find that an unnecessary place to go. 17 Syracuse points. So he is going to be a really good player as he extends his shooting range because defensively he is just excellent. A jock a little late getting out on. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That just was, a joke. Just that was a pretty joke. good off the top. You had most of your humor is scripted. So that was impressive. Matthew Hurts shot goes out of bounds. I think over the last two, three weeks, their offense has been really good. Mark Williams, the offensive rebound. Griffin. Just a little up fake, and Stewart flew right past him. Matthew Hurt missed the three, tipped by Stewart to Williams for the East. He's done it before and had good success. Jim doesn't feel like this, his press this year is that effective. That looked like a little bit of a foul, but they didn't. He doesn't think it's that effective. Seven foot guy in there, or somebody who's really wide. Well, it really hurt them when they lost Barama Sidibe. There's a three, a two actually, a long two. That keeps the press on. Dolajai doing the best he can to deal with the much bigger Williams and it wound up on the feet of Hurt and he dunked. Behind the back pass. It's a ridiculous punishment regardless of who it's applied to in any sport. I, I would just change all my records if I were Syracuse to be to reflect losses. Well, it's a, it's a huge <laughs> I would. And it's also a huge headache for record keeping a team a couple of years ago and having a very good season for the Hoos. Matthew Hurt for three. And speaking of matchups, as Hurt gets a friendly roll, how about Matthew Hurt and six to adjust going forward without Jalen Johnson? Well, they haven't had much time to adjust, but, you know, four games ago, Mark Williams was uh, inserted into the lineup and for, for uh, the reason of providing more rim. Reese Beekman, we've talked about him in steals. He gets a ton of steals for Virginia. He leads the team in steals. But Trey, and there's, there's, he is shooting the ball so well. You talk about a player, man. You know, usually you do a Virginia game, and it's always played at, quote, their pace. Does it feel like this one's at a quicker pace, or is it just that the ball keeps going in the basket? It, it's a little, <laughs> bit, a little bit quicker, but. Backcourt, DeVoe had 29 points today. Florida State won at Pitt, 79-72. to 72. Hurt from the corner, knocks it down, and Matthew Hurt's got four threes already up into this good of a player another discriminatory comment yeah. about big guys <laughs> that we develop slower Matthew yeah. hurt with a chance for three boy I think Hauser's got not here with the team due to contact tracing and he's a very good shooter off the bench they've also got a couple of players who are back from illness <laughs> they're available but they're just not playing all that much right now two of 12 from the field in his last five games, but he took, Casey Morcell took that shot with a lot of confidence. A sophomore from Fort Washington, Maryland. Hurt misses the three, and the rebound down to Jeff. If that's your shot, take it. And that's Casey Morcell's shot. I think you're obligated to say, Jay, the lost art yeah. of the mid range. The game. lost art yes. of pass, uh, yeah. passing to the post. The lost art of everything's yeah. a lost art. Henry Hauser with 15 for Virginia. Hurt with 18 for Duke. They are guarding one another as they have most of the night. Hurt for three. And all these shots are contested. I mean, Sam, the most outstanding player, decommitted from UC Davis. The coach there was Jim Less, who was friends with Tony Bennett. So Tony Bennett was there actually looking at James Akinjo, scouting James Akinjo. A drive just throwing it up to the rim, and there's so little you can do. If you don't stay home, you're going to give up that dunk. Boy, there's just nothing, there's not much you can do at all when Hurt decides to make that. 15 points, three steals tonight for Kihei Clark. He's just been excellent. Hurt. And he knocks it down, a long two to get Duke back within a point. DC to go along with close to 10 threes made per game. For the Blue Devils, a tough start to the month of February, 0-3, but then responded really well with a win against NC State. And, and then three-point shooting. Coach K talked about uh, you must defend the three-point line against Wake. They average close to 10 threes made per game. And then that guy right there, Matthew Hurt, 
They have to do it, know the story. Uh, go to the undefeated and look at other stories like this as well. See, just phenomenal. Matthew Hurt is red hot right now. Step back. He has been the one guy I think that has been uh, really impressive to see his progression uh, from the first time he set foot on the court to now. Matthew Hurt makes Wake Forest pay. My earlier point, they've lost uh, six of their games uh, by seven points or less. So they've lost some close games, but uh, you can see this team uh, starting to figure it out. In particular, Jay, nice job establishing post position as well, too. Jay, if you're weight, because Duke has really a, been aggressive in the passing lanes, uh, you got to try to get some backdoor cuts, or you're going to have. And he's got a high release point, so if you have a smaller player on him, uh, he's just going to raise up and shoot over him. And you look at the numbers. You know, that first outing, he was pretty impressive, but uh, he's on track. Out of their rhythm. Inside the hurt, contested, and it rims in. That is good defense from Wake Forest that it doesn't matter. Everything. Both the first game of my junior year and then my last year after redshirt and coming back. And it is difficult because it's hard to see your team struggle and it's also hard to see your team play well without you as Matthew Hurt in turn as are the Blue Devils. Six freshmen for Duke, as well as one their first ever grad transfer in, in Patrick Tepay. So as Matthew Hurt knocks down another so many postponements and cancellations, very few programs will get enough games to actually win 20. Matthew Hurt draws a crowd, so he gets off the three-point line and knocks down the 15-footer. Games, Corey, really catch your attention. Wendell's been playing with more confidence and aggression for longer than that. He has, and it really started with their first game back from the 21. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Williams high, low to Hurt. Now, you're as confident a shooter as I've ever known, Corey. Would you try that? Well, All right, my, my second question was metal backboard, glass backboard. And he said glass, but you remember what he said beyond that? It was I'll a something the glass. about the there's something right. one player that interrupted that streak for the Blue Devils. Hmm. Matthew Hurt was not that guy, obviously. Defense, and so far today, the Wolfpack is now exactly one for nine from distance. Matthew Hurt, on the other hand, has been perfect from distance. And Matthew Hurt now knocked. Hurt. That would have given him a new career high. Instead, it's his first three. I believe he's been there 21 years. It's hard to believe 21 years ago. But I, I played against him when I was at UCLA, one of his first seasons, and I guess I'm that old. That is a much needed because that's the expectation at Duke. But in reality, these are players, and this is a team that needs to be developed. Just a tough year for that process to actually take place. It's about to hurt. Seems to be heating up. Because that's what happens sometimes. You got Duke defenders. The young guys get caught up watching the basketball, back cut, too many easy opportunities. That's where there, there are matchups out there on the floor that you can capitalize in. Line, it'll be Duke basketball. Now, Reese, this, I, I might not be completely accurate in this. I'm just giving you my perspective. But as a shooter in the college game, I always had it in my head that I'd never get open look. He tells him sometimes, stop playing like a coach's son. Wyshewski yeah. with the dunk. That was good movement. And, and, yeah, when you break the defense down, this is a young Duke defense. They get chasing the bat and something's wrong. He needs to touch it. He's got it now. Irish down four. Got to be honest, he's keeping a minute. Yeah, he is. He is. Their offense is keeping a minute. I've been some other body, uh-uh, baby. Wouldn't me. Free two-hour grocery delivery included with Prime. A career went viral in Carolina players at a party without masks. We showed you earlier the six teams at Joe Lenardi from the ACC. And Joe has in his field 
Virginia, and a three is the highest. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> Good on offense, makes a defensive play. Now Notre yeah. Dame, shot clock headed to 15. Inside a minute to go. Great works out there. Lashevsky has the ball being guarded by... A seven-footer each program with three McDonald's All-Americans, two of the top recruiting classes in the country. But it sure does feel like the younger teams have been disproportionately in play by Garrison Brooks. Carolina, one of the few programs that still, almost all the time, plays two traditional bigs. And I don't know that there's any team in the country where the bigs share the ball as well as they do in Chapman. Too fortunate to come away without having given up more. Matthew Hurt, who has not scored in this game until now, as he lays it in and beat me to the punch. I was just going to ask you, they're big, they're talented. They're big. They are really big. And Hurt knocks down a three. So after being scoreless for much of the night, a two. Here with that bagel that he had for a good part of it. He is the second leading scorer in the ACC behind only Justin Champagne of Pittsburgh. Misses that three. Carolina led almost the entire way in the first half, led by as many as 12. Turnaround by Matthew Hurt, and this game is tied. Oh, what a pretty shot by Matthew Hurt. Dusty, wild scramble, and Duke winds up with it. And Duke looking to Matthew Hurt early. They went into him in the post. Couldn't find him after a switch on the first. He is a really good scorer. He can create his own. And another automatic free throw shooter when you foul him. One of the most improved players, not only in the conference, but in the country from last year to this year. I think they're five for nine. In fact, that one four set again for Duke. And executed beautifully. Matthew hurt the dunk. That why. Milani the miss for Miami. Hurt just inside the arc. Rattles home along two. Wrestled back to take it back for Duke. But it's nice when you're that good of a defender, you can make up for a mistake that easily. And Hurt missed a three. Lonnie the rebound walker. Everything right now for Miami has just been too easy. Hurt from the elbow. Well, Coach K was concerned. They reached 25 now, and a half. This is the first time now in the last five games. The previous four games, they did not reach 25 points in the first half. They have 27 now. Back cut by Matthew Hurt. Nice goal to score, and it puts so much pressure on their defense. And just having some uh, offensive success early is going to give them a little bit more burn. Matthew Hurt with a long three, well off the mark, and rebounded by Kent. And now Duke's able to put some full-court pressure on. And so the tempo is completely different than it was three minutes ago. And Hurt puts Duke back on top with 2.25 to go. Improving skill level and his second jump is so effective. Good athlete. Can't go over the top of that. Walker one point away from double figures for the fourth game in a row. He's trying to do his part for that these passes are sloppy would be generous. He's almost reckless with the passes. Matthew Hurt tough shot fading away with a couple of defenders on him. <laughs> Matthew Hurt. Step back. They say that's a three. And it's a one-point game as we... Well, Jim Laranega told us today he is a uh, budding chef. He took a cooking class, and apparently the professor emailed the basketball folks, the academic advice, say he is loader. Would have given them a six-point lead to match their largest. We're under five minutes to go. Duke a little fortunate there. The ball got deflected right to Hurt underneath the hoop. And it's a two-point... Olani, oh, he's been great. What an effort by Miami in this one. Hurt tries a three. Tipped in by Wendell Moore. By Cameron McGusty. Wild scramble. And Duke winds up with it. And Duke looking to Matthew Hurt early. They went into him in the post. Couldn't find him after a switch on the first. He is a really good scorer. He can create his own. 
And another automatic free throw shooter when you foul him. One of the most improved players, not only in the conference, but in the country from last year to this year. I think they're five for nine. Just back that one four set again for Duke. And executed beautifully. Matthew hurt the dunk. That's more of a low post five. Milani the miss for Miami. Hurt just inside the arc. Rattles home along two. Hustled back to take it back for Duke. Well, it's nice when you're that good of a defender. You can make up for a mistake that easily. And Hurt missed a three. Milani the rebound by Anthony Walker. Yeah, everything right now for Miami has just been too easy. Hurt from the elbow. Well, Coach, they reached 25 now, and a half. This is the first time now in the last five games. The previous four games, they did not reach 25 points in the first half. They have 27 now. Back cut by Matthew Hurt. Nice lead. It's been so difficult to score, and it puts so much pressure on their defense. And they're just having some uh, offensive success early is going to give them a little bit more burn. Matthew Hurt with a long three, well off the mark. And now Duke's able to put some full court pressure on. And so the tempo is completely different than it was three minutes ago. And Hurt puts Duke back on top with 2.25 to go. Improving skill level. His second jump is so effective. Good athlete. Can't go over the top of that. Walker one point away from double figures for the fourth game in a row. He's trying to do his part. Boy, to say that these passes are sloppy would be generous. He's almost reckless with the passes. Matthew Hurt, tough shot, fading away with a couple of defend both sides before words. <laughs> Matthew Hurt, step back. They say that's a three. And it's a one. I guess you could say he's been cooking. Well, Jim Laranega told us today he is a uh, budding chef. He took a cooking class, and apparently the professor emailed the basketball. McGusty missed a floater. Would have given them a six-point lead to match their largest. We're under five minutes to go. Duke a little fortunate there. The ball got deflected right to Hurt underneath the hook. Just eight per game. Well, he's had a terrific game, and olani has been great. What an effort by Miami in this one. Hurt tries a three. We saw it where he and Trey Jones were really destructive defensively, and now he's playing even a bigger role with Trey on to the NBA, and Jordan back in a starting role here this afternoon. And the Blue Devils on the board first. The fact that he can do so many things is what makes him great as a college basketball player, not only defend, on the defensive end of the floor, but also offensively. A defensive breakdown gets an easy two for Matthew Hurt. Which wasn't necessarily a, you know, confidence booster to his team when the coach is out there beating him the pregame. No, he was a Division three baller at DePaul. That's back in India. I'm going to be able to make enough shots. Then I think he enters that top five team. And Mike, Mike in this game, who else? Do you have your pauses, but uh, there are still games to be won ahead, and, and you've got to figure before this is over, for it. while they're on the outside looking into the NCAA tournament right now, a win here today would get them maybe back in the conference. He's got 11, as does Wendell Moore. Ten points for D.J. Stewart. Ten to shoot. Stewart puts it on the deck. Probably about 15, 20 minutes by then. And I do want to say that our Sports Center colleague, Kevin Nagandi, who's a Temple alumnus and who got to know John Chaney well during his undergraduate years at Temple, did a marvelous job. And it's tipped in Wendell Moore Jr., the sophomore from Charlotte. Score tonight. Short and Michael DeVoe will in the corner and comes up short. Goal wire. Now Matthew Hurd and DeVoe gets out there to take away the easy three. So Hurd just put it on the floor and came up. Coach K, how he talked about how these kids come in, they don't really have the bodies that we've seen in, in years past where they're physically ready. So many of these guys, they look young. Their bodies look young. Get another night for the star freshman for the Blue Devils. 
and a great cut to the basket and good look as Alvarado finishes and finally Tech has a bucket first time in more than four and a half minutes of game. Alvarado, don't jump to the basketball that hard if you're Goldwire. Alvarado's too smart. Georgia Tech very fortunate left Matthew Hurd a sharp shooter wide open he couldn't find the range and now Alvarado tries to answer and he does and just like that maybe instant handles and Jalen Johnson what put it in it was a goaltending I don't know if it is or not instant whatever handles? it is I, is oh, that Instagram. right okay. is the yeah, Instagram so. is that correct you're know. way more double double he has the ball now working on the freshman Jalen Johnson Trying to back him down, a spinning right-handed shot, and hurt an opportunity to move to the front from the free throw line. Well, Georgia Tech was really close against Virginia, and if it wasn't for Sam Hauser knocking down big shots, most of which came over top of Jose Alvarado. He, freshman, you know, Louisville sophomore that didn't play a year ago, Louisville redshirt freshman, you know, Louisville grad transfer. It just says Louisville. Y está hablando de los eh, jugadores que no pudieron jugar, que fueron transferidos. Ante Virginia Tech y Pittsburgh, los dos últimos partidos. Aquí lanzó del fairway, incómodo, terminó fallando. Sin embargo... Goldwagen ahora con Roach, intentando el triple Herta. Y plazo de nuevo a Louisville. 7 a 0 es el rally que tiene Louisville. Desde la esquina, triplazo. De una vez. Se quería acomodar Stewart. Aquí la pinta se acomoda del codo. Lanza y la falta. Lanza y la falta. Doble. Ojo, Matthew Hurt. Se acomoda para el doble largo. Ahora otra vez Matthew Herr intentando el jumper desde la izquierda en línea de base y anota. 28 a 27. Penetrando en la pintura, tapón. JJ Trainer con el tapón, intento de Herr de triple. Después del tapón, Matt. Primera posesión de la segunda mitad. Para Doc. Y aquí, continúa. Donde dejó la tarea al final de la primera mitad. Roach. Hurt. Se acomoda para tres. Siguen llamas. Siguen llamas. Matthew Hurt. Oh. Muy bien el rebote. Para Duke que se viene en transición. Buscando como mínimo empatar el partido. Quedó solo Hurt para intentar el triple. Generado el rebote. De nuevo. Segura, ¿verdad? Ganaste claro. en la pintura, asistencia segura. Exactamente. <risa> Va a ser la pintura, ganaste segura. Muy bien, don Pablo. Hurt intentando el triple en el aro. Dale, el pase afuera de nuevo. 10 segundos en el reloj de disparo. Ati se voltea. Lanza y anota. Matthew Hurt. Desde el codo. He's showing some skills today. But it's a challenge when you're in that zone. You often identify a spot to get to and not identify a, a threat. Matthew Hurt, who's a terrific three-point shooter. Davis and Zion Williams and R.J. Barrett, all these guys we know about. But the reality is, college basketball is built to develop kids. And this guy, Matthew Hurt, he's struggling tonight. You're seeing the development in zone, but it, it's not bad. There are just certain things that if you don't play zone a lot, it, there are going to be some challenges. Hurt for three. His first field goal of the night, and Duke takes the... It's that big shot. You get back, it's time for a stop. And then you start to capitalize. Veteran teams somehow know how to do that. And then Hurt rejected on the other end. Numbers for the Panthers. The knee injury never looked like he missed a beat. 24 and 16 against Syracuse on Saturday in his return. 17 and 10 at halftime. In this game again, out and took the perimeter, but you have to be present in the sense that you've got to get that ball out of that weak spot of the zone, not allow him to square up a jumper. 
I think he heard all of that big three talk that I've been doing tonight. He said enough of that. He wants in on that action. Game gets simplified a bit, and it seems as if that's the case for Champagny these, these last two games. Hurt going down in the post, and he will finish. But he is down and shaken up and grabbing his finger on that. Johnson down with it for Duke. Hurt spins and converts, and it's a six-point game. And Hurt seems like... What a great play by Stewart to come up with a steal. Boy, Johnson thought about it. Hurt will take it. And it goes, and Duke is back within two. Timeout. Hurt got a height advantage on Champagny. Tough shot won't go. And Tony with his 11th rebound. Figure that out. <laughs> Hurt with the offensive rebound on the missed free throw. Right back up. And Champagny got him right at the rim. And now a steal by Tony. Yeah, he was there and then he was somewhere else. Four point game. Hurt over Champagny. Two point game. Boy, this and Mutz has, and, and Aluma together have allowed Virginia Tech to play differently than we saw them a year ago in Mike Young's inaugural season as the head coach of the Hokies as Matthew Hurt misses the three. But you see off to a great start in this. The highly coveted transfer this summer from Delaware. He's played very, very well. Hurt off target with his first couple of shots. The AC Siders, but Coach Young knows how good he is as we see Matthew Hurt knocking down the three. Coming in at 20 points, 8 rebounds a game. Hurt, the 6'9 sophomore. Up for him. On the spin. Several opportunities there for the Blue Devils. Couldn't get anything to drop. Beat advantage for the Hokies. Hurt's been pretty quiet so far in the lane, trying to use a little muscle. You know, he put on about 15 pounds. Showing a little bit while like the Hokies were really going to put the pedal to the metal. Hurt thought about the three. He's going to drive it. Airborne. Left it short. A bit more time in preparation than he ever had before when he had to miss the game. And you know, and he learned a lot. And again, when you when you are, you know, it, it's hard to say he's not the GOAT. I mean, you plan him of a contest, and he's done it here. He's opened up a 46-31 lead. Big possession here for the Blue Devils, trying to get some momentum going into the half. Oh, talk about a lot of honors. <laughs> all coming up on Wednesday, starting at 4.30, right here on the ACC Network. Oh, with a touch, first, spinning inside for two. For the first time in about 25 years, we're really able to go straight up and down and make shots. It's something that very few can do. I can think of a number of great shooters that I've played against in my lifetime, Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, etc. But very few people can do that. See a 5-4 pick and roll right here in just a little bit of space. That's all Matthew Hurt needs to be able to get that shot off at six foot nine. Can shoot over many defenders, especially if he gets a little bit of space. You know, right out of the Dirk Nowitzki playbook. And you know the crazy part about that, Obi? In 1995, when I was in college, if you shoot a shot like that, you're immediately coming out of the game. <laughs> that a wide open three and great action from the Blue Devils to get him that look. Aluma tries to go over the screen, which you can never do against a true shooter that Matthew Hurt is. Bad for thoughts. Sixty-four to fifty-nine, the Hokies. Put his team on his back here in the second half of this game at the Castle Coliseum. And right now, 20 points for Hurt right at his average on the season. But he's going to need more if the Blue Devils expect to walk away with the road victory. Well, he is 12 defender and a smart defender. He should have known at that point. Tyrese Rafford is not going to shoot a three. Again, you trail a guy that's going to come off there shooting. And he could have cut underneath that screen and met Rafford on the other side and not been in that situation. But off we go from Cameron Indoor. Matthew Hurt gets the first touch and the first points for the ACC's leading scorer. Get a look at the Duke starting lineup. They've had a lot of changes <laughs> over their game so far, too. Hurt cans the three, and he's got the first five for Braid. Thrown right into the fire. 
Here's that back to the basket from Hurt, just carving out some space around Musius for two, and all seven for the Blue Devils. It has to be a little concerning for the Duke coaching staff right at the moment as Wake has been able to beat the Blue Devils on the perimeter and get inside. Hurt's first miss. Spun away from Goldwire, who hauls down the rebound. That's the definition of a tough shot right there. And that's the definition Hurt. of an easy shot right there. Yes, with a very easy one from that Wake Forest needed, and he did that by himself off the dribble. Well, and when you talk about the Duke pressure, Dan, it's really impressive how Carter Witt has looked so far as Hurt scores two more to get up to 11. At Cameron for the first time since 1997, and that one rolled off the rim for Carter Witt as we start the second half. Well, but probably the crowd. Tim Duncan was a senior. And Tavian Williamson gives the Demon Deacons the lead once again. Well, that's just great, great ball movement. Jeremy Roach was left leading to Goldwire at the rim. But just those little turnarounds there in a game like this can be so crucial. Witt needs to get by DJ Stewart. Well, not only did he block the shot, but he blocked it off Isaiah Wilkins and then had the presence of mind to get out of the way. Ball's coming toward him. He jumps <laughs> deep, but he misses. And a held ball on the rebounding action. The arrow will keep it with the Blue Devils. Well, that's another offensive rebound for Duke. Duke now has eighth in the game. And in five of their previous six games, they've had... Roach on the scoop. Boy, and if you're trying to come in here and beat Duke, you do not give them that many chances. Now, particularly, they've got some guys who can really put the ball in the line. Splits, so it's still single digits. The deficit with four minutes to go. Wake Forest down by nine in a building they've not won in since 1997. College comes out in a zone. Uh, that's going to be their defense for tonight when we spoke with Jim Christian. And Matthew Hurt cashes in off the offensive glass. He's been the go-to. those who just want things up obviously uh, they've lost some close games start off the ACC play 0 and 3 so he was looking for a change and thus far early on it has seemed to work three turnovers for BC tonight dumped inside to Matthew Hurt. double team comes in Mitchell blocked him from behind everything just seems off and uh, you can tell in this first half right now, they're a team uh, that looks rusty and that has not played in a long time. And 21 days since this Duke. One of the rare misses tonight for Boston College. Still a 14-point lead for the Eagles. Step back three. It's good. Matthew Hurt delivers from deep. DJ Stewart trying to make something happen. Offensive rebound falls to Matthew Hurt. Hurt fading away. That rims out no good. Okay, we Mitchell has his pocket picked by Roach, dumps it off. Here's Wendell Moore Jr. Kick out Hurt for the tie. He's got it! Matthew Hurt dials in a bit. Missed layup there for BC, and this is a familiar script for the Eagles. A large lead against a ranked team, and they have let this slip away on a huge run by Duke. Decides to launch a three, can't connect. Let's see how Duke attacks this zone. Into Matthew Hurt, straight to the basket, rejected by Mitchell. Duke keeps it alive. For another dunk off a beautiful pass. Inside to Hurt, count it plus the foul. An opportunity to tie the game at 69. For Goldwire left open for three. Can't 
connect. Matthew Hurt, offensive board, missed the layup, but the second effort's good to tie it at 73. Matthew Hurt for three, and he hits it. The sophomore comes up clutch. Man-to-man -man defense by Notre Dame. Trying to match up inside, trying to go a little high-low. And they work it down low to Hurt for the game's first bucket. You know, Bob, if he could score... ...holdovers from last year, as Matthew Hurt's off to a great start. And right at the front of the rim, Patrick Tepe, the grad transfer from Columbia. Couldn't get it to go, and now the rebound is pulled down by Dane Good. Executing fairly well, getting good shots. One of the problems with young people is shot selection, learning what is a good shot. Hurt, and that missed everything. We said he could shoot. It seems like Michigan State and Ohio State to start off the year. Shot clock down to 10. Hurt on the move, comes up short. The tip follow won't go, and the rebound is pulled down by. They got to get him shots. Hurt along the baseline, gave one up for Patrick Tepe, the grad transfer from Columbia, back to Hurt, and he knocks it down in the mid-range. Tell you, that's that mid-range. He's got to start making shots, Baker. He's really struggling shooting. Came with a big reputation as a good shooter. Hurt fades away. That's short. And the rebound ends up with Nicola Jogo. Well, Saturday afternoon, all I know is right now, about five minutes from my house, there's a little Notre Dame party going on in a bubble with my <laughs> granddaughter who's a freshman at Notre Dame. She invited some friends to come on over and ready for this? Lawrence doesn't play defense. They gave up 47 points. Would have been 54 but Ian Book fumbled on a he fumbled like on a one foot line. I'm telling you, this has to be a heck of a game. The Big 12 is so tough. West Virginia is really outstanding. I mean that conference is really tough. Hurt with a fadeaway. He can score so many different ways. I Breakfield. Shot clock at four. He picks up his dribble. Old school scoop ball go. Offensive rebound. And the putback is good for her. Her hanging around the basket. Cormac Ryan knocked down that three to make this a seven point game. Hurt. Spin move off the front rim. The tap ends up with DJ Stewart. He There'll be a couple thousand transfers. Shot clock down to five. Hurt fades away. That's too strong. Wendell Moore missed time the jump. And the rebound. Duke has countered, and 12 equals their largest lead. All because they get good shots. They haven't taken bad shots. Are you kidding me? Matthew That's Hurt with a fadeaway extends. To High school out of Chicago area. He and Roach are going to make a nice combination. Hurt, two on the shot clock. Got it. This is a miracle. Go big with delicious nachos topped with all your favorites. Nachos Party Pack, only at Taco Bell. Get yours with Taco Bell delivery. Hurt connect. You couldn't believe it. That's why they got to be really disappointed. And I think surprised by the efficiency and the execution by Duke in a half-court game. Three on the way. Can't wait. They sit there, the first little thing, something goes wrong. It's Rip City, Rip City. Well, you know what? They can't take away five championships. They can't take away three gold medals. And they can't. Right, Jay. <laughs> the over-under was five. <laughs> Hurt here. Jumper is good. And he can do that inside and outside. And he's a little bigger, too. He's tall. And he can. This is a very talented Illinois team. Johnson gets into the paint. Kick out. Hurt launches. Can't leave him. Williams was fortunate there. He got caught in no man's land games. You know, they're averaging about 17 turnovers a game. Yeah, it's been a major issue for them. Hurt to the goal and puts it in. And that was an example of slowing down a little bit. Just the, in the half court. Branderson picks up another. He's got two. And now Hurt. Once you, once you have legal guarding position, you're allowed to move to maintain it. I thought he did. Kirk gets inside and rattles that one home, and he's got six. Well, they need him to score. Offense. Kirk. Good fake. And Kirk takes advantage of the mismatch. He had the quickness advantage on the perimeter on 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. 
Flyers took it away. Hurt gets it back after the Desumu block. A dozen for him. Replace guy replacing up from the baseline up top, and that can be awfully hard to guard. Hurt way off the mark. And now they got numbers. Initial one, and then you've got a pivot and a, and a pass back out, a throwback. Then they're attacking the closeout. Frazier did a great job of attacking that closeout. Tonight, Jay, you got to figure if they're going to win this game or really get back into it, that's going to have to change. Yes, and this is their best three-point shooter by far. He's in the second half, really hasn't drawn. Illinois, Iowa, Michigan State, Wisconsin. You know, Rutgers is much better than they get credit for. It is going to be a fist fight every night in the Big Ten. Hit those three threes early that really helped set the tone, and he's been quiet since. Inside hurt with a throwdown. His little horn set, took it to the left side, and let hurt touch it. There it is. Inside size advantage rolls at home, and now hurt with 16. And Dukes Colburn, it got deflected. Desumu gathered it back in and then put it home. Hurt. Down low, hangs, hits, and he'll go to the line. Does Tasumu get the assist and the bucket on that? Because that's one of those big keys I'm talking about, Eric. Execution. They came here and played an exhibition game against Duke. Talk about deja vu all over again, as Yogi Berra would say, because Duke was ranked number six at that time as well as they are this year. Electric nugget there. And Thielen, five on the floor for Bellman. Hurt, quick trigger. Rattles it through. Matthew Hurt, his first three-pointer of the ball game. You see Duke up to nine on the wings. you got to make those backdoor cuts. Very nice move. Hurt left alone. Can't make him pay. More the offensive rebound. Sit. Oh, boy, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Made three three-pointers. Stewart. Extra pass more. Hurt. Oh, that helps. That helps. It's a long two, but it's a bucket Duke needed. Hurt. pull-up jump shot. You know, Matthew Hurd has gotten stronger. He's an excellent shooter. Shot 40% from three last year. Made 42 threes, but if he starts putting the ball in the deck, he's that much harder to come a little bit. I'm not sure that's the shot that Tom Izzo wants for Marcus Bingham. He can make it, but they didn't run any offense and settled for a quick three. They're one for seven from three. Henry Floater, and here come the Spartans. After the dreadful start, still only down by six now as Henry has scored four points. Michigan State just... Good ball movement by Michigan State, but Gabe Brown couldn't knock it down from the perimeter. But because of that ball movement, you're talking about a much better shot. And, and eight turnovers. But Duke has started to help them. 
with some misses and turnovers of their own. That was a quick miss by Wendell Moore. Langs the front end of a one and one. Two minutes to go in the first half. The first half of our State Farm Champions Classic doubleheader. Kansas and Kentucky. Lee Call had some really good minutes. He had six points, five rebounds, and two assists in that first half. Second half of our Sonic blockbuster underway. Thomas Kithier back into the game for Joshua Langford. I thought he was going to pull the trigger the first time he had the ball instead of trying to find Kithier, but how great is it to see Langford back out on the floor? Great pass inside to Matthew Hurt. But it, it's been... And Duke right now has been settling for jump shots instead of trying to get the ball to the rim. Hurt, strong drive on Hall, who held his ground well, though, and made it a contested... Good hands by Henry, poked it free from Hurt. What a great defensive sequence by Aaron Henry. That was fantastic defense, not quite as good. But he's got to balance running the team with scoring. It's something he can do because he's a smart player. 17 points. Hurt couldn't score from... Who's put up numbers like uh, in Final Fours like Michigan State has what was over that The last 22 years, eight Final Fours for Michigan State, the most, the most. in the country. Remarkable, just remarkable. Oh, hurt. Experience for the young team that Mike Krzyzewski's got. But just finishing games. Double-double for Malik Hall. Time running out on Duke. And on playing a game by this point. In fact, two for Coppin State. Get more into the COVID-related issues for both programs. Not necessarily within the programs, but affecting. Good start for the Eagles thus far. Not a real true big in this lineup for Duke. They're going to have to do a, a much better job of keeping Coppin State off the glass. It's going to have to be. Shots last year were threes, and in their wins, they hit 34% of those. Hit only 25%, and the losses is hurt. Great find, great finish. And he's hit a four-point game with the two-handers table, lined with the plexiglass this year. Kyle Cardacey. The first sub looking to check in for Coppin State. Goldwire, that one to go. Hurt thought about another three. Goes to the spin move. Fall away jumper off glass is no good. Before yeah, I, still like, I still like that extra pass. Nearly a turnover there. Aggressive defense for the Eagles. Roach, five seconds now on the shot clock. You can see Hurt take a quick look all the way down the floor at the opposite shot clock before hitting. Blue Devils looking for the first double digit lead of the afternoon. Hurt, three, top of the key. And he drills it. First three of the... There is rebound number 10 already for Johnson in this one. Roach turns the corner, sees a couple of defenders there. Hurt goes to the spin move in the paint and one. Stewart, Roach, and Johnson. Hurt couldn't work his way through Sarban. Check down the defense and find others. Sarman trying to defend Hurt, who takes the three. A lot of young guys. Third turnover of the game for Clayton. Hasn't made too many mistakes, but that was one. Hurt hits the three. Matthew Hurt. I was doing that in the next couple of years, as long as I still put my work in every single day. So you're from Congo. What 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 is the best Congolese food? The best Congolese dish? I'll say the one I love. I think. And you can see why some of the guys said it was pretty surreal in that locker room. Allie, thank you very much. I'm glad we got a little class on this broadcast finally with Allison Williams. Baker with the bounce. That's his game beyond a three-point line. Steps inside it and drains it. And just textbook Florida, and I'm sure wants to wish congratulations on to his father. I'm sure he's already done that, but Mike White, one of the best in the country, one of the best people in his coaching professions that you know. And corner shooters to spread the floor. And the trap. 
Goldwire finds Hurt. Hurt finds Stewart. And Stewart finds the bottom of the net. Well handled to get out of that trap. Movement, clean look. You have to feel good about that. That's something you can build upon. And just as he started the first half with a dunk, Mark Wilk. One of the things that Passner had him doing early morning workouts early in his career because he wasn't getting time. He just, there were a couple of plays early as Mark Williams flushes one home. Where there oh, left, and it's ripped down by the seven footer, Mark Williams. So long, and he made Gary a finish that over the top of him. Quick three up and in. Of course, the 101 wins for Bayheim that the NCA took away. Jeremy Roach, that's a three. For the freshman from Lee's. <laughs> there was Alan Griffin, who was wide awake for the. Easy two. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Wendell Moore, the floater. Sophomore from Sharp. Keep it alive. Hurt at inside position, but still he was able to knock it away. Hurt was limping a little bit. I don't know. Twisted an ankle or something. Stewart steps into a three. Them vacate play dates. <laughs> that play date never happened. Four and a half to go. Do we get to the Texas Tech and Oklahoma State? Career night continues for Mark Williams. You heard that Duke defense has come to play again. And Coach K says that's the recipe to get some wins down the stretch. Extra pass pays off. DJ Stewart drills it. Three of their last six. This is a Demon Deacons team, remember, that had a month-long shutdown due to a COVID outbreak that derailed the non-conference part of their schedule. And they have played exceedingly well in the last... The team they had last year, no doubt. You know, Nate Lashevsky's been really quiet, but Cormac Ryan has picked up the slack. Lashevsky's only taken one shot. And he made it, but Ryan has given him, give him two more. 42-41, now deep position for Wendell Moore. And all of a sudden, we talk about how Notre Dame doesn't foul. The Duke is... When Bray handed the keys of the offense to Prentice Hub, he's been really productive this season averaging 14 and a half nearly six assists per game and Prentice has eight so it'd be tough for him to get it simply because he was so good last year as a freshman and you know what where would the Blue Devils be this year without him you know he's been shooting very very well from the perimeter 46 and six points for Wendell Moore meanwhile for Clemson their lead scorer not surprisingly Amir Sims but he's got three personal fouls Corey what can Clemson do to chip away here well, one of the things... Surprised, I think, Corey, that this one's so lopsided, but when you get balanced like this, the Blue Devils are going to be really tough to beat. They are. I mean, you look at Jalen Johnson with nine points, who could possibly be the... Six Come, Dusher! Tie game! It just feels like it's been a game of runs, a game of swings. Georgia Tech gets down, but they're experiencing a physical screen. He gets himself open. He creates a lot for himself without the ball in his hands. They thought he would be out six to eight weeks with a knee injury. He was back in four as Stewart knocks down. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Jeff Capel also coaching at VCU in Oklahoma. Johnson with a long two, and it's good to bring the Blue Devils back within a deuce. You know, so far, get how fast things move on the floor. And that's why it's hard for young freshmen to, to figure out. It's hard to figure out how to slow the game down and make good decisions. How about Jeremy Roach with a nice running layup? Into two. More for three. Yes. Simple ball. Now, really, nice start to the second half by Wake Forest. Trailed by four at the break. It's been a five point swing and start in an Eagles uniform. Goldwire wide open, and he answers from deep. Jordan Goldwire, exactly what the... ...make shots and score for them, and he does it well. He's more a lead guard, Bob, than he's a pure point guard. Goldwire, yes. That's what they need. Guys like basketball team took their lumps two years ago. Last year had some good moments, and this year they're expected to do really well. Mark Williams elevates over Jawan Durham. 
He's so skilled. He likes the jabs. Sends it back up top. Roach knocks down the fourth main three here in the first. Could talk about what it's like to be black in North Carolina, in Durham, at Duke. And, and he felt like those types of discussions were great ones to have for the young. Kind of behind the backboard, lost the angle there. Now Stewart again. Hurt in between two Eagles, gets it over to Johnson who lays it in. It's great effort by Hurt, keeping it alive. In the shooting that you showed, the, the stock is moving up. So JT, appreciate you taking the time to join us. Definitely, I appreciate you. JT Thor, freshman from a, a, a competent perimeter shooter where you'd have to go out and guard him. And he's gone the other way. Uh, so the truth is you just don't know but but most players I think if they put the work in uh, They can they can improve that and still make that short jumper And again, they're playing without Brooks and Baycott's on the bench But they've still got Kessler and sharp in there right now as Walton steps out of bounds just during that last Sequence we started to hear the chant of tar heels There are fans in the building just the second time they were here for the winner for Florida State last week I think about three. Gonna let it fly. Georgia Tech's having trouble all of a sudden getting good shots, and Matt Hurt called in the pass, but then stepped on the baseline. Great. Job. Ultimately, Devoe has to beat more to the spot, and that's a strong finish. They're gonna call it offensive foul. Wow. No one even has the ball, and everybody's just trying to call timeout. Duke only has one left, I believe. Oh, that's Matthew Hurt's fifth. Wow. And just into the game. Had the lead at halftime. Over the top for Hurts. And a scrap for that. And it's going to go the other way. It's going to be Cardinal basketball. One of the things they've done. And Stewart, the freshman, with Hurt, Wendell Moore, and Williams, the starting five. They try to get it to the rim to Williams again. And it's a Duke turnover. You're going to see Mark Williams behind the Syracuse acquired. And that is no fun. He gives it his all, doesn't he? He's a oh. fun player to watch. And he's a really good play. Great steal by Richmond. And he's a really good player. Mm -hmm. On the wing. Now switch with Hauser on Goldwire. And that means Hurt being guarded by a smaller defender in Morsell. And he just used too much left arm there. Knocked him down and is called for the charge. The guy's confidence on the offensive end also creates rhythm in the offense. That does an ill-advised pass from Hurt and a turnover. Here comes Goodwin. Talking to us about in terms of habits. It's a bad habit to stand up when you're covering the basketball. And Matthew Hurt tried to go all the way to the basket. And seven turnovers. It's a six point Miami lead. So Beverly's a guy who's played all year long. He would have been a bench player. He's been a starter because of the injuries. But Jim Laranig has told us late in the shot clock, nine now for Elijah. Alani has just got a good ability to score. Just another turnover for Jalen Johnson. Way too easy. I mean, giving up these easy seven turnovers. It's a six point Miami lead. So Beverly's a guy who's played all year long. He would have been a bench player. He's been a starter because of the injuries, but Jim Laranig has told us. For Sims, and you know, Sims hurt him in the win at Clemson last year. He said, Sims is one of those guys who creates shots for his teammates even when he doesn't have the basketball. Picks than anyone as well when you consider what Coach K has been able to do over his 41 years as the man in charge in Durham for the Blue Devils, but I'm not sure that there really is a red. wire pushing it back in the front court for the Blue Devils. O wire already with seven in the early going. No more for his defense as uh, Matthew Hurt's going to be called for the travel. And recognize he had more on him. James Johnson with the two fouls probably not going to be on Moses Wright. So we just one position and made a shot. Georgia Tech very fortunate left Matthew Hurt a sharp. Asistencia mejor que el pase de faja. Exacto.
Nada más déjela tantito prendida en lo que salimos, porque no falta que uno se tropieza, ¿no? Sí, claro, y, como, y, no, y hay que tener cuidado, distanciamiento claro. social y... Un minuto falta para que termine la primera mitad. Hurt con el pase a la pintura, se interpone rápidamente David Johnson. Ser Pablo. Sí, ni hablar, a, a, así es y, y hay que cumplirlo, hay, hay, que, hay que ser obedientes en ese sentido. Falta ofensiva. En this thing. But again, if there's anyone who knew that Duke was going to make a comeback, it's Mike Young. And I'm sure there's something that he spoke to his team about it. play. Oldwire's just been so steady for Duke as he has now stepped into a more starring role as a senior. Off the turnover, then soon he's got another from beyond the arc, his second. You know, Hurt, I think he did what he's supposed to do. He went to help against the driver, but if he's guarding the suit, maybe that guy who's defending the, his body, but he turned his head and Roach doing a nice job not standing around watching. Now Hurt takes it away from the suit. Open three, break field comes up empty. And Kelly pokes it away. This time he slows it up in transition. Trying to answer, Felder can't get the follow flush. Duke in transition again, three on one. Matthew Hurt called for an offensive foul. Hurt. Shot clock down to 10. Jeremy Roach had a good first half, gives it up to Hurt, and Hurt shuffled his feet and turns it over. Yeah, he had an easy layup right there, too. He didn't go up quick enough with it. Execution, the ball went inside and found his way out to the perimeter for an uncontested jumper. And a shuffling of the shoes. Matthew Hurt went too fast and was called for the travel. The final four for the Spartans under Izzo in the last 22 years. That is the most by any program during that span. On the steal, kept it in play. Hurt gets his fingertips on it. Two on the lob, Blue Devils. Devils. Thought we were going to get the lob there. Better than that. 15 per contest over the last two. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, and if you foul him, he knocks his free throws in. One of the best free throw shooters in the ACC. Top five. Matthew Hurt, the block. Better than that. 15 per contest over the last two. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, and if you foul him, he knocks his free throws in. One of the best free throw shooters in the ACC, top five. Matthew Hurt, the block. Whatever it was, <laughs> he covered a lot of ground. A lot of traffic underneath. The ball is stripped away, and back come the Blue Devils, led by D.J. Stewart. 6'11", 265, very bright future. If you are just joining us, Carolina is without Garrison Brooks on senior night. He took and made... There's a reason we won a championship. Uh, so blessed to have both of them uh, to start with. Like you talked, Jared uh, Butler. I mean, he graduated from our business school in three years. He won every Big 12 award possible. Uh, he's switching out on Buddy Beheim as he's coming off screens. Dolajai, wow, lots of bumping with Hurt. And... No whistle. Six already. It's ten unanswered points for the Blue Devils. Syracuse hasn't hit a three. They're three points. Johnson in a fresh possession now for the Cardinals. Hurt got a piece of that Davis attempt. And then Withers got it back and draws. There was some criticism about his statements after the uh, game with Illinois about the fact about maybe pause the season. Let me tell you, that wasn't just after the game. He told me that a month ago. A month ago. Great defense from Hurt. Threw it off. Heath had actually kept the play alive for BC. Got back to block Mitchell. Two great plays by... Well, he's really a one-man band for long stretches of this game. And a major... He has 25 points. The rest of the team is 25. And he just came up with a great defensive play with a block. Look, but he couldn't get it to go. 
and he's capable of knocking that shot down. But you have to understand, at that point of the game, Jeremy Rose has the ability to get to the rim as well. And when things haven't been going great, the problem with Duke is they haven't really beaten the good teams this year. And, you know, they lost to Michigan State, who's no longer a good team, but was a very good team at the time. They lost to Illinois. Has his number one seeds. Look at all those. Big Ten teams near the top, four among the top eight seeds. Heard a block shot, Henry Coleman. Virginia down one. Clark loses it, gets it back, has to put it up. And that will not count. Duke will win. And, right, and let offense uh, be created for you. Matthew Hurt from Duke picks up a rebound there. He's been active on the offensive side. Three of five from the floor. He's got seven. Emory, why should NBA teams bet on Scotty Barnes being one of the best players to come out of this draft? I would say NBA teams should bet on me being the highest player to come out of this draft because I'm just a winner. I'm a born winner. I love winning. But I have that high capacity. George <laughs> <laughs> Fonstead, don't play at all. <laughs> Yeah, you, it's exactly will these cannabis retail establishments be allowed? This bus allows six people at a time to come in and get vaccinated. The first female coach in the NFL. It's a new way to see the best of News 12's local. You really made a huge jump over these yeah. past few years in college. What allowed you to kind of turn yourself into really one of the best players in the NCAA? Definitely. You know, I just took the uh, constructive criticism and, the, you know, the critics, you know. Austin College, but for them to make 15 threes and see the ball go through the basket was a big deal because they've not been shooting the ball particularly well going into that game. Now take a look at some of this help defense. Us the first time these two teams played, he described him as a self-made player. And step back move, just couldn't get it to go. Uh, but but he wasn't heavily recruited out of Cincinnati. In, in fact, yep. and Slazinski touched it first, so it did look like Williams got it. Obviously didn't think he did. commercial but that's how good he's been tonight but but see if i didn't do that way i'd have to admit i made a mistake and i'm not going to do that no <laughs> I, i'm still waiting on the first one of those <laughs> that happened in the syracuse game today buddy Beheim had 27 and hoisted up a couple of threes late didn't make them and then eventually uh, jim Beheim took buddy out sure from the blue devils once they make shots they are setting up that full court pressure, trying to see if they can speed up Boston College and force some turnovers. A Duke of Virginia. And we just had it up there on the graphic a moment ago. You know, Duke 4-1 and one in ACC first round games, and that's a tiny number. It's only five games. It catches. All point shooter is Matthew Hurt. And of course, when you start talking about the history of the Blue Devils, it's a number of great shooters that have come through that program Matthew hurt is up and they would have more wins over those quad one opponents if you get three of those now you're five and five against quad one teams so now that resume seems to be and I know you're thinking <laughs> Dell but that's yeah. not either either Seth may be the best shooter in the family and you Seth Curry so? who wow. who well I, I will tell you this Dell and I were having a conversation in North Carolina looking to screen the zone They'll keep somebody behind it. Right now it's Baycott, and they usually do a good job rebounding against zones. They, they dominated Syracuse on the glass. Look, last three games, North Carolina's turned the ball over 60 times. They had 60, uh, 20 turnovers against Syracuse. Jordan Goldwire. You know, Caleb Love has really had a good game. Step back three. Maybe not the shot you wanted. But I, I think he's a, he's a good shooter that has not shot the 20 minutes per game. He's the one name, really, on this Carolina roster. He's the one guy whose name shows up on uh, NBA mock drafts and that sort of thing. And if he goes, for sure. Yeah. Matthew Hurt's numbers are so good against Louisville, he might have to run in the derby. <laughs> Slazinski now. Keith gives it up. Shot clock at 14 for the Eagles. So far, they are three for six. Trying to add to that, but one man band for long stretches of this game. And a major, he has 25 points. The rest of the team is 25. And he just came up with a great. Syracuse starting lineup. 
Joe Girard, the point guard with Buddy Bayheim, Quincy Gary, Alan Griffin, and Marek Dolajai, and it's Dolajai. Nice move by Richmond, couldn't finish. Four to Virginia, and we haven't had a whistle yet in this game, and we're almost four minutes in. Nice step in by Hauser to tie the game. They got a fair fight with Sam Hauser. And what a fight it is between two of the best shooters, not only in the conference, but in the country. Lenardi had him in the next four out this morning. And then based on results today, things moved around and they dropped out of the next four out. But point being, if they came to the corner and he caught it, he shot that as soon as he caught it. I mean, Huff was almost there. How about Hauser with a shot fake? Clark just 5-9, but... As Virginia turns it over, a little miscommunication there. And can you have any hopes of getting an at-large, getting a win here tonight? Would it be an important first step? A lot of work to do. In and out on one. Clark loses it, gets it back, has to put it up. And that right direction. Have them a play away from beating Florida State in Tallahassee. Jay, his passing out of double teams. He's been unselfish with the ball anytime he's been doubled. The injury that cost him some time, including the first Notre Dame game earlier in the season, was handled properly. So things still look very three-game road trip, and now Tech is 0 for 4 as the bow misses from the perimeter. But they have another opportunity to lead more is checked into the game. Good position inside from Moses Wright. He had eight rebounds in the first half and now matches it with eight points in Georgia Tech. Tech. And still, relatively speaking, a ton of time left in this game. Glorious Henry Coleman, 6'7 freshman. He can't play tonight. In fact, did not even make the trip here. Tough drive. Another starting lineup for Steve Forbes that is shuffled today. Davian Williamson, four in the black returns for Wake. There's to be able to go on a run here would be able to seize control. And this game was tied 55-55 and since then it's a 16 program. So now all of a sudden after three games in 37 days they're getting their third game here in a span of seven days and still trying to find <laughs> themselves. They haven't played a whole tonight. John Shire talked about him getting his confidence back. Look, they know he's talented and he's a guy... Heath working on Hurt, fading away, floats one up short. Karn Shot clock down to eight. Cormac Ryan launches a three. I think the extra weight getting stronger has really elevated his game. At the floor, the defenders on the right have to, they can't hug their man. Frazier was trying to find a cutting to Sumu. Hurting. Michigan State and transition has been set up by Duke's defense which has been excellent a lot of dribbling for Michigan State not a lot of pass three four possessions and Aaron Henry that was a tough move instead of settling for a jump shot he put the ball on the floor and Finn and Johnson still tend to shoot for Michigan State tough shot and under the basket but it's not an up and under move. does that make sense but you can be having up and under without being under the basket. Right. Or, exactly. Johnson, of course, known for his athleticism, but already showing a nice shooting touch there. On the offense. It's about four minutes into this one. Anthony Tark against Matthew Hurt. Hurt stands him up in the paint. Tark nip Blue Devils. Another great foul by Goldwhite. He's doing a really good job of penetrating, getting in the lane, and finding shooters. couldn't walk into its offense. They wanted to slow him down at first and speed him up a little bit once they got across half court. C.J. Bryce, tough luck. Stanley and Matthew Hurt all on the floor. Plenty of experience still with this group for UVA. And a fadeaway from three to start off. Good one, one right here. You can keep these across the lane. Too strong.
about fufu. Fufu, what is fufu? Uh, it's one of the African foods that pretty much everybody loves and we got something else. Station Knicks inside the dump off and the finish by Adam. Uh, there's a reason we won a championship. Uh, so blessed to have both of them uh, to start with. Like you talked, Jared uh, Butler. I mean, he graduated from our business school in three. In the season, I did their Indiana game in the ACC uh, Big Ten Challenge, and he, he wound up making the game-winning play in that game. Fayetteville, North Carolina, as Dre Davis has gone to the bench with two fouls. What a pass from Carly Jones, but Johnson can't finish. Even others, I think Jose Alvarado got a couple of votes, and he was named the defensive player of the year in the league. Johnson a little bit short, and the rebound down during the regular season. That was the second foul on Jeremy Roach. Keep an eye on that. He remains in the game for the moment for the Blue Devils. Davis, baseline drive off the glass to Johnson and Jones. Each hit a three late in the first half. Withers over Williams, left it short. Session now for the Cardinals. Hurt got a piece of that Davis attempt. And then Withers got it back and draws Luke Hancock, Carlos Boozer, and Dallin Cup. They are the hardest working people in show business. He gives it up to Ashton Langford. Carnick has it rejected by Williams. Right back over to the Eagles. And a nice pass. His defender comes over to help. Not only is that an easy bucket for Williams, but those assist numbers go up for you as a guard. Ashton Langford off the fake. The best shooter in his family. And I know you're thanking <laughs> Dell, but that's yeah. not either, either. Seth may be the best shooter in the family. And you Seth Curry's so? movements on it, but not surprised he's fighting through it. And knocks down a jumper. Not been able to establish any rhythm. North Carolina has disrupted Duke's rhythm completely in this game. Baycott into the chest of Hurt, too strong off the glass. Denied him any rhythm in this game. Black trying to go the distance. And with a, a nice win in Columbus. Io Dosumu back despite a facial injury, playing with a mask and played for three, as Jay mentioned earlier. Sharp, nobody to pass to. And how many big guys can do what day run? You're a Carolina fan. You can watch them at times and say, you know what? Their good is really good. Like, they beat Louisville 99 to uh, for, for athletes that, that they're living in hotels. And that, that's, that's a difficult thing. Georgia Tech, he's already got seven in the early going tonight. Well, again, he's in a different role now, too. Again, no Jalen Johnson. He's going to be asked to do more. And I, I'm just of the belief. Wild attempt. Moses Wright bails him out. Hurt digging for the ball and forces a turnover from Moses. Here from Alvarado so far. Jose had a really good performance last time against Duke. Scored 26. Moses Wright four. Now is, I believe, has 10 on the night. Here's Wright. Nope. Inside a minute to play. Now Georgia Tech, see if they can get a quick two for one, if they can get a shot up. And instead, they turn it over again. The Duke's ACC losses, they've been outscored by 40 from the free throw line. Well, they were well, they back to dunks, and you got to at least pay attention to him on the lines. Although I think, as you see, I think he's going to wonder if Williams just needed a moment before he checked back in. But he's in there now, guarding Moses Wright. Wright going up over the Big South Player of the Year at Radford last year. Johnson, tough rebound and heavy, tight defense by Louisville to deny him. Four minutes to go in the half. Johnson slicing in and a whistle. Louisville with the 31-24 advantage and Jones, big. Here's Johnson outside the three. He'll drive it again. Jones off the head fake. Loves that at the moment. Inside. One man band for long stretches of this game. And a major. He has 25 points. The rest of the team is 25. And he just came up with a great.
Well, Louisville, after a couple of long COVID pauses, able to get rolling again. They're trying to beat Duke for the second time this season. Jones again off the win. 240 left in overtime. Shot clock down to three. They get in close, and it rolls in, and a foul as well. And Wendell Moore had such a good floor game against Virginia. Seven assists, just one turnover in that ball. It's ten unanswered points for the Blue Devils. Syracuse has key win as they take on 14th ranked Texas. You will be calling that game the hardest working man in college basketball. <clears throat> Blocking shot changing ability. And then he's just been hanging out by the rim. Good interior pass by Buddy the fourth time they've done it in conference play. Gary A off the mark from three. It's like a second hop on the rim. Here's what Joey Brackets has as number one seeds. Look at all those. Big Ten teams near the top. Four among the top eight seeds. For a signature win, quality win, big win, whatever phrase you want to use. And they are up three on a top ten team in Virginia. Look at Huff stepping in. And how is this team eight and eight? If they play this well, don't write this Duke season off just yet. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same great deal. Like the Samsung. And, uh, and the Irish just shot the lights out. Yeah, let me let me change that. It was a 15-point lead because I know how technical you are with the numbers. No, so sure I get no. That right. <laughs> here, Kevin Keats saying, switch it, switch it, switch it. And even still, the North Carolina State defenders don't switch the ball screen. But not not with his play, but his shooting motion of the way Larry Bird, you know, got it up in, into his shooting pocket. And choose not to come. <laughs> Do what Fonz did. Don't play at all. <laughs> good pass and a good look for Williamson. Misses the corner three. Can't finish though. And here come the Blue Devils with numbers. Goldwire hurt. In order to win the top seed and take the regular season title, and he came through with a big, big performance. Yeah. But yet, not changing their shot any whatsoever. And Matthew Hurt, I mean, it's scary. 6'11", 265, very bright future. If you are just joining us, Carolina is without Garrison Brooks, you think, except with Mark Williams. Shot clock at six. Love gets a switch. Three over Hurt. Past years, the, the league is not rated the same way that it usually is. Love using the screen, driving past Hurt, and gets it. And say that's the night that Matthew Hurt won the player of the year in the conference. Scored their last 11 and another. Duke showing his own. Davis. And he's on the line. Down the stretch. Yeah, he will not return in this contest. Jones with a pull-up pop. Jones directing traffic. Shot clock to five. He's going to slice again. The spin. It's ten unanswered points for the Blue Devils. Syracuse has. They didn't. He doesn't think it's that effective, but he has to try it here. They've got to do something different. Dolajai rolled to the bucket. Morcel with a pull-up. And you talked about the mid-range. Roach turned it over. Back to the Wolf Pack. Nice trip to this. The jump shoes. The jump shoes were one of the funniest things of all time because they, they were basically like... Two inch lift out hard. Matthew Hurt wide open on the out of bounds underneath. But Cormac Ryan is the kind of guy that is not expecting to get a lot of open look in the game. But no chance for a two for one. So we'll see what the Irish do here. Let's say this is a feel good first half for both teams. Yeah, this look. This is this gets my my once a year. I give this comment. If you don't like this, you definitely don't like basketball. You probably don't like puppies either. This is as good as it gets. I know the defense they're playing their best basketball. Could this give them another February charge? ACC basketball. Well, you can't get higher than your man in the corner. 
on ball side. Otherwise, you're just going to inviting them to go back door. Have 6.6 .6 rebounds against Georgia Tech on Tuesday night, and he comes back in with seven points here to start the, in the first half today. So, four to 50 game. The defense was on point going up against the Cardinals, which is a very good team and a team that had just beaten Duke previously. Alvarado coming off at 20.90. Virginia already with eight here. Here is Jordan Usher. Usher. Empujándola. 51 para Duke, 53 para Louisville. Jones penetra, tablero. Jones. Le hace la cortina. Jones que penetra. La flota. En el lado. Today the plan was for him not to play in this game because they don't play for a week after this so they could get a, a bunch of good practices in. But overall he's a 54% shooter. Doesn't miss much. Cone. As that one's deflected away. Take a look. With another three. They really ought to consider guarding him out there. That's a good strategy because the only thing slowing down Matthew Hurt right now is matchup. And this has been close until it got stretched out to double figures here just in the last few minutes. And now Duke has found some energy coming out in the second half and taking the lead. A 13-3 run in this second half. Jay Heath darting through the lane, uses the left hand. Here's Kelly, draws the foul. He is not in the feel of what college is about. And they ran into two buzzsaw games, losing to Michigan State and to Illinois. Up. Illinois by 14, number six against number 10, Curbelo. Not sure that was the Illinois needs to be strong with the ball and get a get a bucket Curbelo lost his footing wanted to call didn't get we've had some dubious ones Wendell Moore bounced it off his foot and turned it over that led to an easy bucket just the second field goal also the played games it. between the two of them have been at neutral sites whether it's been in the Champions Classic which started 10 years ago or in the NCAA turn well, look at Aaron Henry coaching the team over there well, Tom Izzo has said the best coach team and a very patient woman. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and a saint. Her and hearing impairment. <laughs> her hearing. Get up, get up. Over a pair of defenders, Colby Top goes out and sets the screen up. Johnson and rolls to the basket. Clayton step back three. All of a sudden, the Eagles. Tark doing some of the ball handling. Rocks himself into that three, and he needed to penetrate and the three. Now Clayton. DJ Funderburk handed it off to Markel Johnson. He goes all the way to the bucket and scores. Travel by least can't turn over. But not not with his play, but his shooting motion of the way Larry Bird, you know, got it up in, into his shooting pocket. Mm. And Nix did a good job shielding the defender. Couldn't finish. Well, they set a little double screen away. Could they call that play? Uh, there's a reason we won a championship. Uh, so blessed to have both of them uh, to start with. Like you talked, Jared uh, Butler. I mean, he graduated from our business school in three. Once Hurt had a smaller guy on him, they just lobbed it over the top. You got a smaller guy coming over. Slazinski baseline and a foul on Hurt. As Matthew Hurt's numbers are so good against Louisville, he might have to run in the derby. <laughs> Slazinski now for the Cardinals. Yeah, I, th I think it has been, and I think there, there have been a lot of gut punches that they've taken with uh, with COVID. And there's Samuel. Session now for the Cardinals. Hurt got a piece of that. Davis can't finish, though. And here come the Blue Devils with numbers. Goldwire. Hurt. Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets.
Featuring ACC Player of the Year, Moses Wright, who will make their first appearance tomorrow during the day second. Jeff Pond, the crew here for game two. Here's Felder on the attack going inside, and that's going to be an offense. But it's because you don't, don't necessarily have one dominant team nor one dominant player. So much parity within the ACC. Oh, that's one of my rules. Corey Alexander Basketball School, I do not rebound for anybody. You miss it, you go get it. Traveling violation here. At halftime, what a career. Duke basketball winning two national titles while he was there. Football program experiencing one of its most successful eras. They made both. The drive and kick to Stewart, and the lane opens up a bit. What a smart play that was to attack like that. <laughs> we have smart play on the 6'11", 265. Very bright future. If you are just joining us, Carolina is without Garrison Brooks past years. The, the league is not rated the same way that it usually is. Love using the screen, driving past Hurt, and gets it. And a second effort coming for the Cardinals. Beautifully done by him shooting it. But give Louisville all the credit in the world. They held Duke to their lowest first half total of the season, the 26 points. Trying to get off to a quick one-man ban for long stretches of this game. And a major, he has 25 points. The rest of the team is 25. And he just came up with a great day. And say that's the night that Matthew Hurt won the player of the year in the conference. Scored their last 11 and another... Jones gives up the dribble. He needs some help. Shot clock to seven. Williamson goes in. Jones directing traffic. Shot clock to five. He's going to slice again. The spit. Syracuse starting lineup. Joe Girard, the point guard, with Buddy Beheim, Quincy Gary, Alan Griffin, and Marek Dolajai. And it's Dolajai. Out on Buddy Beheim as he's coming off screens. Dolajai, wow, lots of bumping with Hurt. It's 10 unanswered points for the Blue Devils. Syracuse has. Nice move by Richmond, couldn't finish. Got a fair fight with Sam Hauser. And what a fight it is between two of the best shooters, not only in the conference, but in the country. Lenardi had him in the next four out this morning. And then based on the results today, things moved around and they dropped out of the next four out. But point being, if they came to the corner and he caught it, he shot that as soon as he caught it. I mean, Huff was almost there. How about Hauser with a shot fake? Good hands by Moore. Morcell can't get it to go. Loose games and really has benefited Duke. Ducey has lost the handles in the back of some pretty good three-point shooting. Four of eight to start the game. And Jay, it's the looks, how open they've been. Jay, his passing out of double teams. He's been unselfish with the ball anytime he's been doubled. Roach turned it over, back to the Wolf Pack. Nice try. Help Notre Dame is a good matchup for Duke because Duke's able to move the basketball pretty freely. Notre Dame's not going to get up and pressure too much, and the length in the game clock. No chance for a two for one, so we'll see what the Irish do here. Let's say this is a feel good first half for both teams. The injury that cost them some time, including the first Notre Dame game earlier in the season, was handled properly, so things still look very. They're playing their best basketball. Could this give them another February charge? ACC basketball. Is well, you can't get higher than your man in the corner on ball side. Otherwise, you're just inviting them to go back door. You'll see. Love. Baycott. And a foul on the baseline. 15 per contest over the last two. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, and if you foul him, he knocks his free throws in. One of the best free throw shooters in the 341. It does make sense, but they're they're going to it a little bit out of necessity. You'd like to be able to guard it man to man. That's usually what they do. But they played played very well against Miami last season at 22 in the win over the Hurricanes in Durham. 
Johnson came out that they didn't do anything wrong, but that really set back the recruiting for a while. There's a big bucket by Walker. 15 per contest over the last two. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, and if you foul him, he knocks his free throws in. One of the best free throw shooters in the East. Played very well against Miami last season at 22 in the win over the Hurricanes in Durham. Johnson just didn't jump and anticipate that play enough. Now. Johnson, David Johnson, ahora se acomoda para tres, hace la finta, decide penetrar, Ooh. Davis, tablero y doble. Wayne, he'd be able to challenge his shot as well, so I love his talent. Oh, it's missed. What about out in California? I know there's there's been a lot of talent out there, right? Some open runs. Um, anyone who stood out to you out there? Nah, uh, yeah, we just our class group, um, an outstanding player, but he is probably further down on on most draft lists because of the, the way the season went. And uh, and it what? Well, I, I, let's start with Cade, right? <laughs> he, he did have 25 against us in the conference tournament uh, uh, and and beat us. A lot of them were in the second half. In some area. Le uh, leading up to the three-point line, and they're essentially daring Louisville to shoot over the top and see if they can make threes. And that's the first one they play. It, it goes beyond sort of his ability level that he can shoot it, he can put it on the deck, he's a good passer, he rebounds, does all these things, but he just has a, a great three-point shooter he is. As he splits a pair, maybe he'll just back up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Able to tip that in with the right hand. David Johnson still guarding Matthew Hurt on Louisville's defensive end. And Williams now with a double-double, 10 points, 12. Time of possession favoring the Cardinals heavily, but can they get some points out of this trip? And again, with Malik Williams injured for Louisville after suffering another foot injury 10 days ago, there's just no great matchup. In, in, and still knocks it down. I think the referee thought he must have lost control of the ball. You know, that's the kind of play last year in 20 pounds. Jones around Goldwire and around Williams to lay it in with a left hand. Just a remarkable finish by a great player. To use that. 8.43 to go in the first half. Been a strange and fascinating basketball season for Duke. Long jumper on. Had a lot of success in the tournament, the ACC tournament. He's done some magical things trying to do that again. Belder lines up chicken sandwich. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act on their love. In order to win the top seed and take the regular season title, and he came through with a big, big performance. Carolina needs to look for Garrison Brooks. He's being guarded by Matthew Hurt. Let him touch the ball. Had a step back jumper and he knocks it down. Everything except with Mark Williams. Shot clock at six. Love gets a switch. Three over hurt. Well, Carolina's trying to get some movement and they move the big guys around. Vicky Black, not a great outside. That one. Well, I'm not sure Mike Krzyzewski's going to love that shot. A quick three from Jamin Breakfield. And now they don't find Walton into a monster next year. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, this team, this North Carolina team, and it goes it goes for Duke as well. If, and, you know, these guys are not that. But that is not, you don't mean that as a slight to say, hey, you know, it's going to take these guys a little bit longer to be great. The same thing. I mean, Duke's turned the ball over like crazy uh, during the year as well, and that affected their defense and led to a lot of different issues. But First rebound of the night for Wright. Here come the Jackets on the push. Usher's been really playing well. Jordan will take his first shot from those any ball screens. Alvarado had a big game against Duke the first time, but had just four points against Syracuse on Saturday. His low output of the DJ Stewart missed. Stewart does two of 13 Saturday against Louisville. And long. Alvarado dancing, shot clock under 10. A couple shot clock violations tonight for the Yellow Jackets. Bubba Parham's going to let it fly. A lot of the same feel that we're seeing tonight with a yep. uh, sense of desperation for both teams in their tournament resume. A sense of desperation, you add that to the ride of the defense. What the more just continued to flatten that out as you flatten it out, you get in the open spot. 
Devote. Six on Duke in the meeting in Cameron. Only 0 for 2 from the floor, though he did play his customary good defense and had three assists. First shot of second. Johnson was just recently back. The corner Jesse Duke already with four assists. They've been passing the ball exceptionally. Well, good passing team anyway. Withers has to force it. Williamson having trouble with that one. Able to save it back to Jones along three. Not fall. Duke was down 10 at halftime. They rallied. They did have the lead in the second half on a couple of occasions. Duke playing exceptionally well on the offensive end. Buddy Bayheim in transit here in Cameron Indoor Stadium. Been all Duke. They led by 22 in the first half. Three point uh, to make that decision. He's going to certainly have questions to answer uh, to NBA people as to, to why he decided to do that and what it means. And there, there he plays. Syracuse coming to town. Big Monday, 7 Eastern on ESPN. Here's the switch. Goal wire on Hauser. That's a tough shot. Yeah. That's not what you want there. Yeah, there are so many different guys on this Virginia team who could take this shot. Clark finds Hauser off balance from the corner, not there. Huff the on one. Clark loses it, gets it back, has to put it up. And that by DJ Stewart. And he leads all ACC freshmen in points per game, 13 points a game. And that's a beautiful. Well, Coach K talked. You know about his staff, you know, John Shire, and you know the job that those guys do. Nate James. Uh, so when the big carriers start trying to get you to splurge on the latest nonsense, just tune it out and go with only the best deals with Straight Talk Wireless Tournament. Yeah, one of the things that's shocking about this Duke season for me, each time they have lost to Cameron, they've lost four times this season at home. That doesn't ill advised pass from Hurt and a turnover. Here comes Goodwin. Ball. I'll tell you, man, shoes have come a long way. I, I was there at Cameron this weekend. I, I was doing the national radio broadcast for Duke, North Carolina. And in one of the display cabinets, there was basketball. And that comes down to, like, win your battle. It's something they practice, but you really have to take pride in it. Win your battle. Keep your man in front. Funnel him to help. No games in action if you're involved in the movement, moving the basketball. Good cuts. It creates better rhythm on the floor, and you're going to play with more confidence. And you know what makes people say how hard Matthew Hurt wide open on the out of bounds underneath. But Cormac Ryan is the kind of guy that is not expecting to get a lot of open look. And benefit the United Way of Greater Greensboro recipients will get the attire for job interviews or maybe some new employment they're starting on. And I thought this was such a nice touch. Each coach was asked to write a short note of encouragement. But the ball has to move a little bit. You create a little bit of rhythm. Within that rhythm, you get into situations where there are options and counters. Oh, Alvarado had it taken away on a good hands defensive play from Matt. 62-59. Jones passing out of trouble. Johnson going into heavy traffic and gave it away. It's one shy of his career high at 13 in their win at NC State. Of course, he played a lot in that game. That was the game Jalen Johnson played only eight minutes and then the big guys in that one and Michigan's playing well enough I think to be put in the conversation to be with with Gonzaga and Baylor uh, as having separated they, they seem like and the ACC games and really has benefited Duke you see this lost the handle stripped away by Matthew Hurt that Duke defense is Williams with a man's jam plus the foul Right now, Jay, they are putting on a clinic offensively. Ball moving left. Oh, they can hear. Mm -hmm. Goldwire missed, and another miss by Brakefield at the rim. You see Kevin Keats just frustrated with another turnover. He's going to tweet at me for this. The jump shoes. The jump shoes were one of the funniest things of all time because they, they were basically like two-inch lifts on your toes so you walked around it was it was to with the blue devils now with an opportunity to make this a one possession game if they're able to knock down a three on this possession 
on a jumper and great defense there by Virginia Tech. The Hokies get beady. And that's a great job by Hurt to turn and look at the basket. He didn't turn his body, but he turned his head. And Roach doing a nice job not standing around watching. Ran Antonio off the three-point line. You can tell what the scouting report says for Jonah Antonio, number 20 for Wake Forest. Three guys from last year's recruiting class that left. And Wendell Moore is part of that group that's at the scorer's table. Set to check in next time out. Cutting to the basket was Jerron Durham, but the pass from Francis Hub. You're going to let a seven-footer get the ball in that deep. That defense has got to push him away from the basket. For McRyan's pass intended for Durham was deflected. Goldwire comes the other way. As all goes to the left side of the floor, the defenders on the right have to, they can't hug their man. Frazier was trying to find a cutting to Sumu. Steward now. Oh, what a play Good. by William. They're going to play in the Atlantic Sun. I'm sorry, the A Sun. For years, it was known as the Atlantic Sun. In case you're wondering. Uh oh, there's a turnover in the backcourt. Stewart gets in the paint and is called for the offensive foul. I can understand why they continue to take him. Great hustle play there by Tark. On the steal, kept it in play. Hurt gets his fingertips on it. Two on the for the Blue Devils. Thought we were going to. Now for the Cardinals. Hurt got a piece of that Davis of uh, the regular season against Duke knocked him off 70 to 65 at the young center back in January Reverse Nicely tonight it's a good game if you're just joining us stay with it if you've been with us You know, it's a good game already Brooks off the inbounds too easy. You know good attitude will help you improve your habits, but Building good habits takes time, and this is a young basketball team. Coming in number 19, Virginia Tech, ranked number 20 in this week's poll. Bradford up top, long jumper on the... ...about his statements after the uh, game with Illinois, about the fact about maybe pause the season. Let me tell you, that wasn't just that... They'll take that clock right down. Tempo's been their key. Braxton Key. Yes. Wide open underneath the goal. Vernon Carey with 13 and 7 is on his way to his ninth double double. How about that? Get up from on. Middle of the league. Iowa it can beat anyone anytime. They have a stud and Luca Garza on the interior who just dropped 45. a big league play in a lot of ways that reminds me of Mike Dunleavy operating at that elbow keeping that ball a high spit gonna get to 2 and 0 gonna get home win number one of the 2019-2020 season